Hi fellas. So I wasn't uploading much lately. Actually, I, I wasn't uploading at all for like what, six, seven months at this point. It's because I was going to school and I just had so much things school related. No. That I just couldn't make anything. I had like five or even more reports to submit every week. Uh, that was that was horrible. But now it's time of summer vacation and I can finally do things. So as the title of this video suggests, I made a new game. I started making a new game. It's very not made yet. Now I came to the point where I thought it looks good enough so I can make a video about it. But then I posted it on reddit and that kind of made me rethink if my assumption was right. Yeah, it didn't go as well as I thought but I'm gonna go with it anyway. So my idea for this game is that you're trapped in like abandoned Soviet bunker and then you have to like go between the floors and like find the exit but there are like monsters and you have to fight them and stuff and it's like kind of like the binding of Isaac but different. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah this is basically what I'm going to do. Anyway the most important part of it is that it's gonna be taking place in an abandoned bunker, a soviet bunker. With the graphics I went for like low resolution textures and like simplistic look, mostly because it's just easy. And it's not resource heavy so I don't have to bother with like super good optimization or something like that. And now someone can ask how the soviet bunker looks like. And that's a good question so I googled it and um, there wasn't much that resembled anything I know. There is surprisingly very little information about soviet bunkers on the internet. Actually only thing I found was this top secret CIA paper with like pictures where you can barely see what's in them. But by complete coincidence I know the guy who knows the guy who knows every single abandoned Soviet bunker in the area. I mean Soviet bunker there are no not Soviet bunkers in the area. It would be kind of weird if there was like American bunker in Poland. I mean, you never know, right? So I drove my Corsa to a different city, broke into abandoned factory and avoided security and I located the bunker. Fuck the exit is, exit is uh, enclosed. I won't be able to open this, guys. Oh my fucking God. We are, we are trapped in here, guys. We are fucking trapped. Thank you, Ante. So only thing left was to take some reference pictures. Uh, by the way, if you want to see an urbex exploration video, you can um, leave the comment or something. I'm just saying. So after I did all of it, it was finally time to start working on the game. First I remade my game engine that I made like a year ago. You can go to my channel and there's a video about it. I remade it because it was a piece of crap, to be honest. And as you can see, in the beginning there were some issues, but then it was looking better and better and finally I came to the point where I designed the entire layout of this bunker. The layout is kind of temporary right now, because just recently I got some actual maps of the bunkers, like actual bunkers that exist. I don't know how they got them, because you can just google them, or they don't just lay around in the bunkers. And I don't think I can even show them to be honest, but anyway I can use them to make the layout generation algorithm or something like that, because it's gonna be all procedurally generated, like in the Binding of Isaac. So to make these low resolution textures, I actually made one image that was like 180 by 180 pixels and divided it into like 16 separate textures. So basically every object is using one image as a texture, maybe except this guy. He's just chilling. And then I started working on some shaders so it doesn't look completely like shit. And the shaders maybe were not perfect but at least it looked better than without them. I mean Mr. Ace Rolla probably would call the police or something if he saw them. I mean instead of following tutorial I decided to just do whatever until it works. I wanted it to look like a flashlight. First I made things get darker with the distance. This added some depth. Dep depth. Depth. I don't know how to say it. Then I added directional light, which means that if something is like 90 degrees facing the light source it's brighter and like if it's not facing the light source it's darker. I don't know how to explain it, it's just dot product of normal vector and the light vector, direction vector. Never mind, just add some shading to it. And then I added this point light effect, because flashlight is a point light, if something is straight in front of it, it will be brighter than if it's on the sides. So I added it, it didn't really work at first for some reason, but then I did something I don't remember what, and it started working better, and this is basically the final product. It's just, this is how it looks like right now, and I hope it's enough. Then after shaders I made some like door opening animations, something like that. Um, this is how it went. 
so I made this animation finally um, you just press this so you go to the door press and it moves it's the, it's the animation I made it's not how door works but um, let me uh, show you I just make uh, a small change uh, Okay, now it's gonna work better, I think. Just wait, just wait a second. Hope it won't break. Hope it won't break. Okay. Um, it's not really. Uh, yeah, it could be better. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I think I found it. It's um. Okay, yeah, it's kind of, um, kind of, could be better, could be better, but... After that I added this fella, so exploring this bunker doesn't feel so lonely. This is how it looks at the moment, and um, I know it's not perfect, and it's not even good, but I'm gonna be working on it. I want to add some like things to make it more dirty and anyway that's all I've made so yeah leave a like subscribe or something like that I don't know bye